Welcome to Nerd Alert, everyone. We have an extra nerdy show for you this week because there are two members of the Nerd Brigade, uh, LA's famed science communicators who travel around the area and teach people about science. Of course, uh, you do remember Phil Torres. Phil is the host of AJ Techno and is frequently in the jungles and rainforests exploring things and learning about bugs. I like jungles. A good time. Yeah, you've got jungle fever. Christina Ochoa, <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry. Christina Ochoa is a science educator and also an actress. Uh, Christina, what do you have going on right now? Uh, well, we are just moving No Brainer, which is the podcast and soon to be show as it's well. It's a show? Yay! Yay! To Geek Nation. Awesome. And uh, honestly, just working on trying to get the next job. Awesome. Well, that's Hashtag a great so podcast. Life. If you want to hire Christina, <laughs> she's very good, she's as we will show you today. Uh, the first thing we're going to talk about today to, to demonstrate that is Chipotle. They are moving to stop serving genetically altered food, specifically GMOs. Now this is something that has become somewhat of a food craze, a health craze, health craze of sorts uh, lately. Um, I'm not really someone who agrees with this, but this is a move that they are making to completely clear out GMOs from their restaurants. It kind of fills um, in this idea that goes with their ethos, right? So they talk about being fresh food, being organic, being something that is directly from farm to market. Right. And McDonald's did the same thing. They talked about uh, chicken without antibiotics, bringing mm -hmm. that in. Uh, Pepsi took aspartame out of their drinks recently this year. So it's these big food and, you know, massive chains that are starting to listen to the audience mm -hmm. and say, oh, you guys want clean, you want fresh, you want something that does not have GMOs for whatever reason. So that's what we're going I mean, with. I do respect people who, you know, are choosing what to put in their own bodies. But I also feel there's a kind of a pervasive, like, sense of fear. Is that right? Is that wrong, yeah. Phil? You know, I think that I'm all for... Chipotle's bigger stand of, also Chipotle's from Denver, so you, you gotta love it. Um, I'm all for their bigger stand of just natural ingredients and keeping it fresh and being aware of what you're putting in your body. But they're equating these GMOs with other things like cheap raw ingredients or highly processed preservatives, fillers, stabilizers, all that kind of thing. When each of those has good science behind showing that, okay, they're not that good for you, so, yeah, if we can eliminate them as much as possible, good. GMOs, there's no science behind showing that it does anything bad to you. Yeah, I Go certainly ahead. agree. Go ahead, Christina. Oh, no, no, no. I was just going to say, <laughs> <laughs> mostly what I think people confuse is GMOs with Monsanto and kind of their policies and kind of a little yes. bit of what they have done. And people have the impression that that means that this food is bad for you. Mm -hmm. And it's not. There is no science to back up the premise that this food has any kind of effect, adverse or otherwise, on your health. They've right. done study after study. Every time, just nothing comes up. I do think it's a little bit of conflagration and, you know, wanting to be healthy, but also maybe being a little bit fearful and uninformed sometimes. I mean, if you think about modern agriculture, nothing we have is, you know, or barely anything we're eating is wild or, or untouched by uh, science or, or agricultural science, rather. And that would be considered a GMO. Yeah, you know, I would love to see a company just take a big stand saying, we're okay with GMOs. We know where it comes from. I'm pretty sure Girl Scout cookies did this, and they just said that, you know what, this is science. This is making our food healthier and cheaper and we're able to give food to places that otherwise wouldn't have it. I think that's the biggest thing. I mean we have, you know, people can choose what they put in their own bodies for sure, but then there's, you know, people who don't have that choice and when you make those decisions and make these claims that are not really based on science, they can have a wider reach and a wider effect, which is the only part of this that I really, I just can't stand with. Well, GMOs are actually something that started out, like if you think of golden rice and stuff, there's some, which is uh, rice that is enriched with vitamin A, mm -hmm. it was not necessarily designed, it does uh, yield higher crops and stuff, but mainly it was designed to be able to give, provide nutritional substance and products to malnourished countries. I mean, we're talking about feeding 842 million, you know, people that do not have access to this kind of food. So this is something that GMOs has 
advocated for, and yet the public still seems to have this fear against it because mm -hmm. they think that somehow they are ingesting something that is not natural. Yeah. <laughs> if we go all organic, if we go all non-GMO, food prices are going to rise. And we're going to have to see that affect some community somewhere. And I don't think it's quite fair that the people that are able to afford these higher prices are kind of pushing that on to other people. And I think that, yes, we should try to eat better here in America. Absolutely. But let's do it with strong scientific backing. So maybe Americans should increase their fruits and vegetables instead of trying to abolish GMO products yeah. from their chains. Yeah, we just looking for an enemy. And, exactly. You know, if you find GMOs, just point at them and say yeah. they're bad. Well, then... products now have those, those signs, right, with GMO crossed yeah, out. Yes, and we do see Whole Foods moving in that way. Uh, mm -hmm. I sometimes intentionally don't eat the ones that say no GMO. <laughs> well, well, why? Well. <laughs> why? Like, I think GMOs need to be used responsibly. I think mm -hmm. out there, if you look at the agricultural system, there's a lot of bad effects that have come from that. But we can't rely on GMOs when it, out in the fields. We need to use other things like pesticides and natural prairie nearby just to keep things like birds and stuff going in there, eating the bugs. But overall, it's, uh, it's the way forward. Oh, well, right. I think we might be in consensus here, but of course you may disagree. I know there are fellow hosts in this uh, network who probably do disagree. So what do you think of Chipotle banning GMO foods from their stores? Please let us know below in the comments, and please subscribe for more.